Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Consider the following statements regarding Matwa community. Matwas are an influential lower caste Hindu community. They have mostly migrated from Pakistan to settle in West Bengal. We have to select the correct statement or statements. Only the first is correct. Recently, the Prime Minister virtually addressed the Matwa community during the opening of Matwa Dharma Mahamela 2022. These are an influential lower caste Hindu community. They had mostly migrated from Bangladesh to settle in West Bengal. In the beginning, Matwa Mahasangha followed simplified rituals, but they later adopted Vaishnavism. Consider the following statements. Collections from all small savings Instruments are credited to CFI, that is Consolidated Fund of India. Interest rates on small savings schemes are reset on a quarterly basis. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second is correct. B is the correct answer. Recently, the government has decided to keep interest rates on small savings instruments like the Public Provident Fund unchanged for the April to June quarter. This was done despite the RBI calling for a reduction in these rates in the 9118 BC point range. Small savings schemes instruments are the major source of household savings in India and it comprises of 12 instruments. The depositors get an assured interest on their money. Collections from all small savings instruments are credited to the National Small Savings Fund. Interest rates on small savings schemes are reset on a quarterly basis in line with the movement in benchmark government bonds of similar maturity. The rates are reviewed periodically by the Ministry of Finance. Consider the following statements regarding National Dairy Development Board. It is currently registered as a society under the Societies Act of 1860. It has been declared an institution of national importance by an act of India's parliament. Only the second statement is correct. B is the correct answer. Recently, the NDDB, in collaboration with the National Bee Board, organized the National Conclave on Production of Bee Wax. The National Dairy Development Board was founded in 1965. Initially, it was registered as a society under Societies Act of 1860. Later, it was merged with the erstwhile Indian Dairy Corporation, a company formed and registered under the Companies Act of 1956 by the NDDB Act of 1987. The National Dairy Development Board has been constituted as a body corporate and declared as an institution of national importance by an act of India's parliament. Consider the following statements. Iravadi dolphins are found in Iravadi river only. They are listed as critically endangered in the IUCN red list. So we have to select the correct statement or statements. Both are not correct. Please the correct answer. The dolphin population along Odisha's coast and in the water bodies has increased but the number of Iravadi dolphin in Chilika has fallen down. Iravadi dolphins are found in the coastal areas in South and Southeast Asia in three rivers, the Iravadi, the Mahakam and the Mekong. They are listed as endangered as per the IUCN red list. Consider the following statements. Pollen grains are female biological structures with the primary role of fertilization. Airborne pollen dominating seasons are spring and autumn. Here discuss is an example of a monoecious plant. Only the second and third are correct. B is the correct answer. Recently, Indian scientists have proposed multi-sectoral strategies for the prevention and control of pollen allergy. Pollen grains are male biological structures with the primary roles of fertilization. But when inhaled by humans, they may strain the respiratory system and cause allergies. Airborne pollen dominating seasons are spring and autumn with maximum species when the phenological and meteorological parameters are considered favorable for pollen grains growth, dispersion and transmission. Some examples of monoecious plants that is male and female flowers on the same plant are hibiscus, lilies and holly. Consider the following statements. Ethanol is derived from corn and sugar cane using the fermentation process. Increased use of Ethanol can help reduce the oil import bill. Ethanol blending results in increasing the emissions of carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons. We have to select the correct statement. Only the first and second are correct. A is the correct answer. According to the industry body, ISMA India has enough raw material to produce 1016 crore liters of ethanol by 2025 for blending the petrol. 
However, policies of oil marketing companies and other factors are restricting the output of the fuel additive. Ethanol is derived from corn and sugar cane. Using the fermentation process and increased use of it can reduce the oil import bill. Use of ethanol blended petrol decreases emissions such as carbon monoxide, hydrocarbon and nitrogen oxides. With respect to the line of actual control, consider the following statements. The major disagreements are the western sector of LAC. India rejected the concept of LAC of 1962 while accepting the concept of it in 1959. We have to select the correct statement. Only the first statement is correct is the correct answer. Recently, US Deputy National Security Advisor and Sanctions Architect the lead Singh said that India should not expect that Russia would come to its aid if China were to violate the line of actual control. The LAC is the demarcation that separates Indian controlled territory from Chinese controlled territory. India considers the LAC to be 3488 km long, while the Chinese consider it to be only 2000 km long. It is divided into three sectors the eastern sector, which comprises Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim, middle sector, Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh, and western sector in Ladakh. The alignment of the LAC in the eastern sector is along the 1914 McMahon Line and there are minor disputes about the position on the ground as per the principle of high Himalayan watershed. The line in the middle sector is the least controversial but for the precise alignment to be followed in the Balahoti plains. The major disagreements are in the western sector and during the Doklam crisis in 2017, the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson urged India to abide by the 1959 LAC. India rejected the concept of LAC of both 1959 and 62. With respect to India and Antarctica, consider the following statements. The Indian Antarctic program began in 1983. Out of the three permanent research base stations in Antarctica, Maitri is the latest one. We have to select the not correct statement. Both are not correct. C is the correct answer. Union Minister Jitendra Singh today introduced a bill in the Lok Sabha to provide a regulatory framework for India's research activities in Antarctic. The Indian Antarctic program began in 1981 and India built three permanent research base stations, namely Dakshin Gangotri in 1983, Maitri in 1988 and Bharati, which is the latest one, in 2012. As of today, Maitri and Bharati are fully operational. The National Centre for Polar and Ocean Research, Goa, manages the entire Indian Antarctic program, which is an autonomous institute under the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Consider the following statements with respect to Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is suffering its fourth mass bleaching event since 2016, and this is the first time the reef has bleached under the cooling conditions of the natural La Nina weather pattern. We have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. The Great Barrier Reef is a site of remarkable variety and beauty on the northeast coast of Australia. It contains the world's largest collection of coral reef with 400 different types of corals. It also holds great scientific interest as the habitat of species such as dugong, that is sea cow and the large green turtle, which are threatened with extinction. This is the first time the reef has bleached under the cooling conditions of the natural La Nina weather pattern and it is suffering its fourth mass bleaching event since 2016. Aphasia, a disease recently seen in the news, is associated is an associated disorder of which of the following organs? Brain. Option A is the correct answer. Hollywood actor Bruce Willis retired after he was diagnosed with a condition called aphasia, which is a brain disorder. It is a condition that affects the ability to communicate, speech as well as the way a person writes and understand both spoken and written language. Aphasia typically occurs suddenly after a stroke or a head injury. It can also come on gradually from a slow-growing brain tumor or a disease that causes progressive permanent damage. With respect to light combat helicopters, consider the following statements. The genesis of LCH lies in the Kargil conflict of 1999 and the first ground run of the first prototype of LCH took place in 2010. Both are correct. C is the correct answer. The Cabinet Committee on Security approved the procurement of 15 indigenously developed light combat helicopters. The genesis of it lies in the Kargil conflict of 1999. 
It was when the absence of an attack helicopter, which could operate in ultra-high altitude areas, was felt acutely by the Indian Army and the Indian Armed Forces. And it was in 2006 that the HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, announced its intention to develop a LCH. The intended LCH could operate in the harsh desert conditions as well as the high altitude areas of Ladakh, including Shachin Glacier. And the first ground run of first prototype of LCH took place in February 2010. Consider the following statements regarding genome editing. It is a technology that gives scientists the ability to change an organism's DNA. The technology can add but cannot remove a genetic material at particular locations in the genome. Answer it correctly. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.